Reflections for the month of May, which is dedicated to the Blessed Virgin Mary. Second day, consideration on the salvation of the soul. I am in the world only to get saved. Do you understand, my soul? You are not in the world to make yourself comfortable, to play the grandee, to dress, to be at ease, and much less to sin. You are in the world only to save yourself. What will it avail you to have in your own power the whole world, if, after all, you have to lose yourself? Kings, emperors, philosophers, men of letters, what use to you will your power or your learning then be if you have not known how to save your soul? But this business of salvation is most uncertain. The salvation of the soul cannot be bought with gold. It is gained by doing violence to one's self. It is lost by one single mortal sin, even of thought. To be saved, it is not enough to have been holy and innocent at one time. We must persevere up to death. What security then have I that I shall be saved? My past life has sins and relapses sown all over it. My present is an abyss that I know not. My future life, what will it be? No one knows except God alone. Finally, this is an affair in which there is no making of reparation. If I lose a lawsuit, if I lose my health, I may hope to find some remedy. But if I lose my soul once only, there is no remedy left for all eternity. If they cut off one hand from me, I have another still left. If they amputate a foot, I should have another left. If they draw out an eye, I should have another left. But there is only one soul, either saved alone or damned alone. And do I think so little about getting saved? Or do I hold myself so secure? I live at ease, and yet if I were to die now, I know not whether I should be saved. Example That Mary obtains the salvation of her devout servants is no great wonder, but that she should do so for one who never recollects her, this is that shows the mercy of the mother's love. Let me take as a proof of this lad Esquilo, who though he was not more than twelve years old, yet led a most wicked and impure life. God, who willed to draw him to himself, made him fall very ill indeed, so that, despairing of life, the lad expected death every hour. When having lost his senses and being thought by the bystanders to have already expired, he was conducted to a place full of fire. And while he tried to escape these flames, he saw a gate, proceeding through which he came to the hall, where he found the Queen of Heaven, with many saints who formed her court. Esquilo flung himself at her feet, but she with severe frown hid herself from him, and bade him be led back again to the fire. The wretch invoked the saints, and they had this answer from Mary, that he had been exceedingly wicked, and that he never said so much as one Ave Maria. The saints interposed again and said that he would have altered habits. Esquilo, meanwhile, full of great fear, promised to give himself up to things of the Spirit and to serve her as long as he lived. Then the Blessed Virgin gave him a severe reprimand, exhorted him to correct with penance his past sins and to keep his promise to her and revoked the order given for him to be cast into the flames. At this Esquilo came to himself again, and having got well of his malady, became a religious of the Cistercian order, which is dedicated in a particular manner to the Blessed Virgin, and made there such progress in virtue, that he became a saint, and will sing in heaven the glories of this his loving mother. Act of Homage Make a visit to an image of Mary and recommend your soul fervently to her intercession. Ejaculation 
सेव मी मिस्ट्रेस हेल्प मी मेरी वन गिफ्ट आई बेग ऑफ दी माई सोल फ्रॉम सिन एंड सोरो फ्री आमेन